What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. We have some really good news today about the Note phone, about the Duo 2. We have a bunch of questions as well. So with that said, let's jump into the tech news and jump into this phone first. This the Microsoft Duo 2, Microsoft Surface Duo 2. That's going to be our first story today about the specs preliminary and what we could possibly see for the specs on the Duo 2. Now, I had very high hopes about the Duo 1 and I have a lot of high hopes about the Duo 2. It could potentially be the phone that takes me off my Z Fold 3, at least one of the devices that I wouldn't be surprised if it did. I, I love the fact that you get these dual displays that you can open up two apps at once at the same time. It's a really nice experience. Let me open this up real quick. Let's do uh, Instagram and Twitter. And it's just nice to have that experience of doing two apps at once. But it's hindered a little bit. There's no camera on the back. When you do use the camera, you have to like flip it over and do this kind of weird thing where you can see the camera, what's going on on this side, but you shoot it with the front camera. It's just not, overall, there's some bugginess to the software. They still haven't updated the software. Like there's things about this phone that are cool. And then there's a half of the things that really aren't that cool. But with that said, let's talk about the specs, at least what we could possibly see for the Surface Duo 2. Now, the Galax put a nice tweet out and uh, obviously this isn't written in stone. These are just rumors, but let's play with it a little bit. Snapdragon 888, would put, which would put it on par with all of the latest, greatest uh, Android hardware. Android 11, eight gigs of RAM, a little low on the RAM. I would like to see 16 or even 12 at the, at the very least, but I'll take eight because this Surface Duo 1 only has six. Storage 128 and 256, I'm completely fine with that. There's gonna be no micro SD card. White and black for colors, 4,400 milliamp battery. A little small, I would have liked to see at least 5,000, but hey, whatever. Dual 5.8 inch high refresh rate AMOLED display, so you heard that right. 5.8 dual display is running at 120 hertz. The cameras are gonna be a 12 megapixel main, 16 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 megapixel telephoto. So they now have three cameras on the back. It'll have 5G, because the, the Duo One only is LTE. Bluetooth 5.1, NFC, which are all brand new. NFC is brand new to the Duo line. It didn't have it in the first one. Wireless charging, again, new. And then price, $14.99 plus. Very expensive price on there. Um, it's obviously a little bit too high for most people to just go out and buy it. And it's also probably, I, I hate to say it, even though the specs are looking pretty nice, I think it's gonna be DOA. I think it's gonna be dead on arrival for most people. I think people will buy it. I think, I think it'll still have its hardened, uh, you know, very hardcore fans that really love this phone. But I still don't think ultimately that people are going to buy it due to the fact of the price. It's a really high price for a device that most people don't even know about. Your mom and dad def definitely don't know about that. And then beyond that, most people already have their phones because it's coming out a little bit later. Later, you either have your new iPhones or new Galaxy phones. So like, it leaves the market of people that actually buy this really, really small. And maybe that's what Microsoft wants, but I'm still looking forward to it. I'm still going to get it and hopefully they give me some good trade and value for my Duo One. Next up is a tweet from Ice Universe. This is the future we're talking about. Samsung is considering carrying a 200 megapixel sensor for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And why is that such a big deal? Because we've heard it's gonna have a 200 megapixel sensor and it could be an alliance with Olympus, you know, the camera maker. When they do do that, uh, the next version, the S22 Ultra will have 108 megapixel. I'm not gonna get 200 on that, but yeah, if you're looking forward to the S23 Ultra, which is two years away, uh, we've got potentially something to look forward to. Next up is about the phone that you guys are salivating for, the phone that you've been waiting up now, by, this, by the time it comes out, probably about two years that it has come out. I think it's gonna create a big buzz when it does come out, if it comes out. And it's about the Galaxy Note 22 series of phones. Check this tweet out from Ice Universe. He says that, let's talk about the Note 22 Ultra again. Someone saw its middle frame structure. It was very easy to recognize. So it was quickly confirmed that it was a Note. Yes, it was still right angled design so i think he means that it's squared off edges it's not going to be round so you'll still get that square design on the note 22 series of phones 
And I'll leave it with you guys. That's your question. How do you feel about the Note 22? I've asked you if we've kind of needed it in the past. I don't know, you're still excited for it. You're kind of over it at this point. Like you have the phone you like, you're not if you don't need it. Like, let me know how you feel about it. Uh, you know, as, as the story develops, you still want to hear more note news or you just completely over it. With that said, guys, let's get to the Q&A portion of the video and drop that. First question of the day comes from Albert Ramos Jr. Are there any current or upcoming phones that would prompt you to change or switch from the Galaxy Z Fold to that phone? And I kind of answered it in the beginning of the video. I think there's there's three phones that'll potentially take me away from that phone. One of them is the Surface Duo 2. I think with some of the updates they're making to it, it could potentially pull me away. I really like having dual screens on there. I mean, I do multi-screen, but like, Dual screening on you know this phone is just, it's easier to deal with two screens versus one when you're want to, wanting to multitask um, because you do get the full amount of real estate on the display with this phone. Um, so that's one phone. The other phone could be the Pixel 6 Pro. I mean, it is a candy bar phone. Candy bar phones, I'm not thoroughly excited about that much, but that's the phone that could do it for me. The third one, would be, and we know you haven't even heard that much about it, would be the Pixel Fold. Those three, and it's basically because I'm getting a Galaxy Note design with Pixel cameras, um, and whoever knows else was uh, whoever knows what else with that software. So those are the three phones that could potentially pull me away. What about you? MF6783 says, I had bi bad eye strain with the Z Fold 3. Have you heard about other people having this issue and what's the best way to fix this? No, I haven't heard anybody having that issue, but if you are, um, you can, and I saw, I think PJ Davis, uh, Phil PJ Davis responded to you, uh, go into the, uh, basically turn the screen kind of yellowish, go into eye comfort shield and turn that on. Mustafa Med Greg, do you think there will be a big battery improvement of the upcoming Z Fold 4? 4,400 is too small for this big phone. It is too small. They need to make the phone a little bit thicker and put a bigger battery in there. It, will they, I don't think they'll do it with the four. If they put out a four pro, like I think they might. Yes, I think they'll put a bigger battery in that. Kevin Cordo, have you heard anyone removing the full three screen protector? And if so, how is their viewing experience? Also, do you have a favorite thin screen protector for the Fold 3. So if you're looking to remove that big screen protector, I, I'm i trying to think of, I mean, if people have just written in comments, I wouldn't be worried about removing it. I'll probably remove mine in the next month or two, I would assume, because it's probably gonna get too dirty to the point of no return. And then with the screen protector, like which one would I choose? I'd probably just go with the white stone dome glass. I've done videos, at least showing the unboxing of it. I'll link it down below. Those are the ones I'd probably choose though. Romanoff Bra Braborn, uh, Braybrun, uh, says my full three froze th two times. Is that normal? And yes, I also hear a weird click or creak sound here and there. My luck laugh my butt off. Yeah, so freezing, not so much. Some apps act weird like Snapchat and some other apps. I've had some battery issues now where I, I actually put a tweet out about it today where I talked about it. Uh, I know you're not talking about battery life, but contact storage and Google Play services. I know someone had some issue with Google Play services causing some disruption with the battery life. I had that, I restarted my phone, we'll see how it acts tomorrow with the restart. Uh, but there is some, there's some weird little bugs going on. They definitely need to put out an update. We're on July update and, we, and we're almost in October and we still don't have an update for this phone. Shame on you, Samsung. Mr. Ali says, how about the SD card? Will they bring it back to the S22 lineup? No, there's been no rumors that they're gonna bring it back, so I'm gonna say no on that. I think it's completely gone from all their flagship phones. Terry says, what are the things you would upgrade or improve on for the next fold? I'm hoping for a little upgrade to the camera and possibly the battery, but could live with faster charging. I upgraded from a Note 10 Plus and I'm loving my Fold 3. Right now, I can't see myself going back to a candy bar phone, and I know I just got it, but I can't wait to see what's in store for the next Fold. That's what exciting, that's what really what's exciting about Folds is like you don't know what the next design is going to be. I felt like with candy bar phones, they've kind of reached their plateau of what those phones can and possibly will look like. But with foldable phones, it's the the, the designs and the uh, maturity of everything is really just beginning. But with that said, I think you're right. Ultimate, way faster charging. I would love to see 60 plus watts or plus uh, faster charging. I would love to see better cameras, better battery life, um, bigger front screen, 
bigger inner screen, those would be some big ones that I'd want. Miss Thea says, do you think Samsung will offer one terabyte with the S22 Ultra? No, I don't. I don't think they're gonna match Apple in that regard. And I think they're not going to because I don't think they wanna raise the price to the S22 Ultra so that it gets into the upper uh, you know, echelon of prices hitting the Z Fold 3. So I think they're gonna max out at 512. I wouldn't even be surprised if they keep it at 256 or something. Uh, but I definitely, I would, be, I would put money that I don't think we're gonna see a one terabyte version. Thank you so much everyone for your questions. If you have a question, put it in the comments down below with the word question. I will find it, I will answer it tomorrow. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.